Are you gonna tell me where you went? All the messages I sent with no reply It's like that You're just gonna walk into my Hello my kings and queens, welcome to my channel Goddesses Whispers. It's your girl Karen and I am so excited to welcome my Geminis back to my channel. If you are a Knight K-N-I-G-H-T watcher, welcome to our royal family. I do want to let you know this is a general love reading. This reading may or may not resonate with all of my kings and queens, so take what does and leave the rest. If this reading does not resonate, please check with your sun, moon, rising, and Venus placements or you can check out the playlist for my channel. Also, the energies or the roles in my readings may be interchangeable, so apply yourself as you see fit. Don't forget, if this reading does resonate, don't forget to click like, share, subscribe, and click the bell to get future notifications when your girl will be uploading another video, as it helps the channel so, so much, guys, and you never know who can use this week's message. So, my Geminis, it's been a minute. Oh, my goodness. I've been getting in the comments. Where's my reading? <laughs> okay, you guys are going ham in the comments for your reading. So I really appreciate the love and support and all the good vibes and energy. Um, I do want to let you guys know, as usual, your weekly does come with an extended. So you have two options. There's a membership option. So for the same $5, you'll be able to access all Zodiac signs, um, extended readings to check all of your placements. If you choose not to do a membership op option, there's another link where you just pay the one time $5 fee and you'll be able to access whatever extended, uh, whatever reading resonated with you. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and dive in and see what is going on with my um gemini's this week it seems like i got another deck mixed in here guys oh my goodness craziness already my gemini's all right spirit what's the energy here for my gemini's this week sun moon rising and venus to the highest light for the purest good what's the energy this week what is it that they need to know what's the energy here what is it that they need to know what's the energy let me get a good shuffle because we had that other deck here what's the energy this week get one more shuffle here what's the energy for my gemini's this week clean and pure messages what is it that they need to know this week spirit what's the energy what is it that they need to know what's the energy what's the energy clarify further last shuffle last shuffle thank you spirit thank you thank you thank you all right so we have love begins Ooh, beautiful we have the strength card power we have conflict and defeat we have a new beginning we have partnerships and alliances. This is beautiful, my Geminis. And we have the Empress. This is kick-ass. Look at that in the bottom of the deck, the Magician, which is an awareness card in this deck. So let's dive into the energies this week, my um, Geminis, because you are showing up pretty firm here, okay? So let's dive in. So we got the Love Begins card, which is... Um, uh, the ace of cups so this is all about coming together with someone this could mean love news coming in toward you this week um, i'm seeing that you are required to have strength this week or maybe face some type of inner fear you may have you know build that courage and that strength to face something or do something here or this could be me picking up on an energy of someone that you're dealing with or a third party so take it as it resonates but nonetheless I'm definitely seeing someone here is feeling conflicted or defeated in a situation um, it's all about overcoming some type of challenge here with this five of swords energy okay so something has transpired here that you are or may transpire here that you may need strength to face or maybe something that you are have dealt with here in the past i am seeing here with this new beginning card which is the fool's card it's definitely letting me know that this is a new beginning for you something is going to transpire here where it's going to lead to a new beginning we have the three of wands here, which is the partnership and alliances. So I'm definitely seeing a dynamic. You've been waiting for this for quite some time. I feel like you've been heavily manifesting. Look at the manifestation card here, which is the awareness card. You've been manifesting this into your life for quite some time. Okay. Um, I do see the empress here. So you could have been manifesting someone back into your life. So this could mean that this is someone that is going to be returning into your life. This could also mean an energy of maybe you're manifesting a birth here 
there um, because we do have the Ace of Cups and we have the, um, we got the Empress here on the board, which is the fertility card here. So this could mean that you are, are, are manifesting a birth, the new beginning card being here. So this could be a brand new beginning for you. Um, so there could be someone here that is finding out news that they are pregnant. So take it as, as it resonates. Maybe you've been waiting for some time to become pregnant for some of you, not all of you. Again, take it as it resonates. But sensing strong um, energy here, there is going to be a new beginning here happening for my Geminis. Let's dive and see what all this energy is all about. Spirit, clarify the Love Begins card, the Power card. What are they needing strength for? Uh, what is it, the obstacles that they are facing? Tell me more about this new beginning, the partnerships, and tell me why is this Empress here? Clarify further, what have they, they been manifesting? Something you've been manifesting, my Geminis, is coming to fro for you. Clarify, Spirit, what's the energy here? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus to the highest life of the purest good. Last shuffle, last shuffle. Clarify, clarify, clarify. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so we have at the bottom of the deck, the magician, shut the front door, my Geminis. You are manifesting the hell out your life. Let's see what we have here. So we have the seven of wands. We have the six of swords. We have the four swords. Interesting, interesting. We have the death card right under the new beginning because with every ending, there's a new beginning, right? We have the eight of pentacles. So this is all about partnering with someone and working on something together. And then we have the chariot full speed ahead. Interesting. Let's see what energies we have at the bottom of the deck. So we have the magician and we have the seven of swords. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Okay, so here's what I am seeing here, okay? So there could be some manipulation here, okay, taking place in this situation with the Magician card and the Seven of Swords. I feel like someone here is not showing their true self, okay, or hiding behind a false mask here, okay? Strong energy of that coming through. Now, if I didn't have the Seven of Swords here, I'd have been like, okay, well, this is all about you manifesting this new beginning, you know, everything is on the up and up, but someone here in your life you're finding to be untrustworthy, someone here that you're finding that you can't trust, maybe having some type of trickery up their sleeve, or this could be something that is coming in here towards you. You may be needing a break from this person because the next per card is the her. So this is all about taking to, uh, taking a break, taking a, some time for solitude, you know, so this could be something that's coming in towards you or you've already been faced with this energy. So someone here is definitely up to some type of trickery here up their sleeve when it comes to you this week or something that has transpired here already. Someone here is not honest and I feel very heavily this is someone who is smiling in your face but behind your back doesn't have good intention. So take that as it resonates guys, okay? Okay. But I'm, I'm seeing here you are going to be seeking solitude from this person or you have already sought solitude um, from this person. So let's dive into this energy because I'm seeing something here um, transpiring here. We have the seven of wands under the love begins card. The seven of wands is all about standing your ground in situations, you know, creating this boundary or this bubble around yourself, protecting your energy and, you know, nonetheless, teach teaching people how to treat you in situations, no longer accepting people's bullshit, you know? So I'm seeing that very here, you're starting to fight back or you're starting to push back, okay, where that is. So I'm gonna have to clarify that further because that fell under the Love Begins Guards love begins card so let's dive in deeper we have the six of swords energy this is all about moving to calmer waters i feel like you know with these swords in the in the boat someone here is trying to sink your ship okay someone here is secretly trying to sink your ship Okay, so I find here that this is definitely an energy where you are going to be needing strength from someone who is portraying themselves to be something that they are not. Their intentions is definitely not pure. We have here as well, the four of swords. So this is all about taking a break from someone. This is definitely a strong energy of self-love, self-care, self-reflecting, taking time away from chaos, but also to building a better relationship with your, yourself, standing your ground here against the bull. Bullshit. Okay, strong energy of that. We do have the death card here. So this is definitely some type of ending here. So this could mean an ending in love matters. Maybe you are going to be ending something with someone that you are, you know, um, in a romantic 
uh, partnership with um, is what I'm sensing here. So take that as it resonates. But nonetheless, this is also a new beginning. So with every ending, there's a des definitely a new beginning. I see you here working on in finances realm. We have the eight of pentacles. So I'm seeing you partnering with someone. Something is starting to come together here for you. Um, so this could be strong energy of you, you know, focusing on your money, focusing on your coin right now, you know, taking time to, you know, build yourself, build your empire is what I'm seeing here you know, maybe not trusting people as easily, but putting in the effort in yourself now is what I'm seeing. But I am seeing here with the three of wands, you know, this is all about um, coming together with someone. So there is someone in the midst that you may trust here. So take that as it resonates. We do have the chariot here um, under the... Um, Empress energy. So this is all about overcoming obstacles. This is all about a victory here um, is what I'm sensing here. So this could be strong energy of something happening in your favor. Okay, but let's clarify because the Empress is all about confidence, growth, someone who's very nurturing. It could mean even mean abundance, you know, or support someone who's very supportive towards you. It could even mean a new person coming in here towards you as well. So let's clarify. Let's clarify further. Spirit, clarify these energies here for me. Why is the Seven of Wands here? We have the Six of Cups. I'm sorry, the Six of Swords, the Four of Swords, the Death card, the Eight of Pentacles, the Chariot. Clarify the energies coming in here towards my Gemini's clarify further and then we got the magician here twice okay so we have the hangman okay so definitely taking a break from someone in love matters okay i feel like there was some type of secret here look at that and at the bottom of the deck we have the three of swords so there was some type of secret that came here to light is what i'm seeing here you're someone that you were involved with was keeping some type of secret from you but i feel like this is something that you are aware of so you took a break from this person you made a decision which was a tough decision because this person Person was very sneaky and, man and manipulative towards you or it could have been some type of betrayal here clarify further clarify the six of swords clarify the six of swords why is the six of swords here spirit clarify further okay so we have the two of cups clarifying the six of swords definitely strong energy of you rowing away from this person okay we also had the queen of swords showing up as well so i feel like this is very strong energy of you moving forward from someone in this maybe in air energy this is your energy so this is you moving away from someone you know cutting someone off here in love matters so something could be ending for you um this week and i'm sensing here um someone in water energy Energy, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, you could be leaving someone in that or finding the strength or the courage to move away from someone that you cannot no longer trust. Clarify the Four of Swords. Look at this, the Page of Wands. I feel like this is all about you know, you may have had a conversation with this person or this could ha be strong energy of you cutting communication off from this person. No longer speaking with this person is coming through here. At the bottom of the deck, we have the emperor. So I'm definitely seeing you being very cold towards this person or maybe this person is being cold towards you. So take that as it resonates. That's fire energy. So you could have been dealing with an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius here. But nonetheless, someone here is very cold. Someone here has shut down, okay? Um, and no longer feeling like they need to discuss anything further with this person clarify the death card well as the death card here clarify further what's the energy here clarify the death card the emperor energy okay so the death card we have the um six of cups um that flew out here so this is definitely someone from your past maybe wanting to come back in here and seek a new beginning with you someone here could be wanting to reconcile clarify further spirit what's the energy here clarify because we do have the partnership and alliances card yep so we have the high the hierophant card showing up here i feel like this person's coming back to tell you that they've learned their lesson some type of life lesson here for you or this could mean that you are um this person is wanting to come back in and express you know because the hierophant card is a very tricky card you know i feel like it's something that you know you are going to be finding out here about someone or someone here is keeping something from you with this hierophant card here strong energy coming through there's something here on the horizon with this person but i feel like this person's coming back to tell you that they've changed okay this is all about a newfound spiritual direction okay and maybe this person's coming back to seek a new beginning with you clarify the eight of pentacles why is the eight of pentacles here clarify further spirit clarify the eight of pentacles pentacles energy thank you thank you thank you yeah look at that the judgment card someone's coming back in to seek forgiveness from you 
okay at the bottom of the deck we have the page of cups so strong energy here dealing with someone in water energy so pisces cancer scorpio is coming in through here very heavily but i'm sensing here or fire energy aries leo or a sagittarius but someone's coming in here to make you a small offer and wanting to reconnect with you okay so take that as it resonates okay guys um let's clarify further why is the chariot here clarify the chariot clarifying the um empress why is the chariot here okay so someone here is feeling like they are standing their ground you know not wanting to accept this offer is what i'm seeing here so you could be refusing this offer here or maybe they're refusing your offer not wanting to work things out with you is what i'm sensing here someone's offer will be denied okay because we have here at the bottom of the deck we have the um nine of swords so someone here is maybe feeling like you won't accept their offer or you won't talk to them or maybe you're guarded towards this person someone cut someone off here strong energy of this especially with the chariot here this is definitely strong en energy you could have been dealing with the cancer with the chariot card here okay but strong energy someone cut someone off here we also have the death card which is a capricorn uh, but I'm sensing here strong energy. Someone's wanting to come back in, but I feel like they're a little bit hesitant on coming back in to speak with you. I feel like they're a little bit intimidated by you. Okay. But I feel they're, they're coming back in to express some type of news to you. Okay. And take that as it resonates guys at the bottom of the deck, we got the eight, the, the knight of swords. Wow. Look at that. We have the knight of swords, the nine of cups and the, the, um, knight of cups. So strong energy of a love news offer coming in here towards you. Okay. That could be this week coming in here towards you. If it hasn't come in already, someone here is wanting to reconcile with you strong energy. We have the emperor and the empress here on the board as well. Okay. But I feel like this person is um, hesitant or at least thinking about it because I feel like this person knows that you probably will not accept their offer and this is probably why they're not wanting to move forward or hasn't moved forward as of yet is what I'm sensing here okay but nonetheless guys you're going to want to meet me over in the extended because someone here I'm sensing here someone here could be doing witchcraft as well so take that as it resonates for some of you someone here could be you know putting working some spells here we got the magician at the end of both decks look at that okay I feel like someone is heavily manifesting you back into their lives okay but I feel like there's some trickery here behind it okay I don't trust it honey but something is happening here so someone here could be coming in maybe lying to you maybe telling you that they're pregnant maybe to get your attention so take that as it resonates or, or something's wrong with the children so take that as it resonates as well some type of trickery to get your attention is what I'm seeing here because look at that right after that is the seven of swords there is some type of trickery here because this person feels like you will not give them the time of day if they don't come up with a new way to get your attention strong strong energy here look what's right after that the intuition card so I feel like the spirit guide is letting you know follow your intuition here when it comes to this person okay all right guys you're going to want to meet me in the extended we're going to dive in further and see what the outcome of the situation is going to be what action is needed here how is this person truly feeling about you you in the shadow what is it that they're not telling you and also too if there's new love coming in who is this person and then we're going to close out with some advice from spirit so i will see you my gemini's in the extended till next time bye i guess you're back are you gonna tell me where you went all the messages i sent with no reply